Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Kyle Chronicles, and me and my sister are going to Quebec to visit family and friends and stuff. And it's very early, 5 a.m., but I'm gonna be vlogging the trip for you guys. And this is a little introduction before we get to the airport, or well, inside, yeah. Bye. Well, today has been our first day actually here. Um, I forgot to update you guys when we got to my uncle's house last night because I was very tired and we like set up camp and stuff basically. Uh, this is our room. Got a bed. My sister and I share it. There's my sister. We yeah, got our clothes in that. Jackets, toiletries, snacks uncle bought us. Suitcase, laundry, I got all my stuff over here, and yeah, we're all set up. Um, we woke up at like 1 o'clock today because we were very tired. It was um, like 12.30. Okay, 12.30, because we were, you know, very tired. And uh, today we went and saw our old friend Richie. Um, in Quebec, we all used to live on the same street with... I mean, all my friends, Kimmy was still pretty little, she didn't have... Anyway, yeah, we all used to live there, and we went and visited Richie today. Um, he's, like, the one friend, uh, that I've kept in contact with over the years. And it was really nice seeing him, and, um, like, getting an update on everybody and stuff. Uh, we might go out to the street at a different time to visit, like, everybody else when their parents are home and stuff. Because, um, everyone was at school and work and stuff. But it was, it was nice. We walked for a bit, so it was nice, like, seeing the town again, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's all we did today. I'll update you for tomorrow on what we do. If we go somewhere, like, interesting, you guys will be brought as well. But that, that's, that's kind of it. Um, we're gonna have supper later, finally see our cousin Jamie, because right now we've only seen Uncle Scott and our Aunt Louise and their two dogs, which... I'll make sure to videotape a clip of, and, uh, yeah. So, it's a lot later, which is why I'm being kind of quiet. Um, it's about, it's almost one in the morning. Um, Kimmy and I, my sister, uh, went out to see actually more friends. We saw our friends Nicola and Alex today, and then, uh, two of their friends as well, and their mom, Renee, which is really nice, because she was always, like, a super nice lady. She still is, um... But yeah, we just hung out, uh, we watched a movie, and we're just getting back now. So we had to get our friend to call a cab for us because we were too awkward to do it. Um, we also saw our cousins Matthew and Jamie at supper tonight, um, so that was nice. Saturday's the big day when, you know, like, the whole family's, uh, coming over and stuff, like, all our cousins and our other uncle and aunt. It'll be exciting for that day to come. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. The most I'm doing tonight is uh, watching some YouTube and going to bed. <laughs> so now I will see you guys tomorrow. So we woke up late today. Um, we we're gonna go downtown, but we're doing that tomorrow. So instead, we visited uh, the little mall in our town. It's, I mean, we're walking beside it. It's nothing special, but gave us some time. Kimmy bought a shirt, so yeah, now we're just walking to Tim Hortons. We've been lucky. Everyone we've met has also in Eng spoken English. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna walk back to my uncle's. He drove us here, so, you know, might be some, you know, like, nature shots of us walking. But, uh, that, that's probably all we're really doing today is that, so, yeah. So, today, um, it's Friday. My grandma 
and grandpa used to live here in Chattagee, but they moved. So they actually live in Ontario now, but my grandma came down to visit her friend Irma. So we went and, uh, that's the TV, shouldn't go in there. So we went and visited her. We went out for lunch to Pizza Hut and it was really nice seeing her because it's been seven years since I've seen her and I think even longer since Kim has seen her. Um, my younger sister, dad and stepsisters and them, they all saw her this past summer. They drove down for a wedding, but me and Kim weren't able to. I had work and then we also had a concert, so. But it was really nice seeing her and lunch was very good. And we went back to her friend's house and they have a bunch of cats and a dog. So we got to pet them and stuff. And uh, then we saw her friend Irma's kid, Ashley, who I vaguely remember. I'm pretty sure she took me to Twilight last time I was out here. I don't remember her at all. <laughs> so that was fun. But yeah, it was really nice. Uh, we woke up actually early today to go do that. Mm -hmm. Besides that though, I don't think we have many other plans for today. Um, we're ordering pizza for supper. Tomorrow's the big day when the rest of the family comes over. So I'll try and, you know, sneak some uh, sneaky shots of them for you. But yeah, um, since I have you out though and no one's home so I don't feel weird, these are my uncle's dogs. That is Daisy. Hi, pretty girl. And this is Shadow. She's a big girl. Daisy! My god, so jealous. Yeah. But, yeah, um, it's been kind of nice. Uh, I, I haven't really taken pictures of ever, any of like my, our friends or anything. I've mostly gotten pictures of pets. <laughs> but um, if we go visit them again, I will actually take like a short clip or like pictures of them and you know, throw it in here for you guys. If not, though, sorry. So, uh, last night, uh, I mentioned we saw our grandma during the day, um, our friend Bruno, Richie's brother, I think I mentioned Richie, uh, asked if we wanted to go hang out at Tim Hortons for a bit, so we went with him, which was weird because, like, all our friends now have, like, facial hair and, like, man voices, and I remember them as kids with, you know, kids' voices and no facial hair, and he can drive, so he picked us up. We went to Tim Hortons, and then we just kind of drove around Shattagee for a while. And then we stopped by his work so he could, like, show us where he works. And then some of his friends came out, and we hung out with them for a bit. And then we went back to Alex's house, and we ended up hanging out there. Uh, they ordered some kind of cinnamon thingies from this place called Pizza Pizza. They were delicious. <laughs> they are the best tasting things I have ever tasted. Almost. Chocolate's still better, but they were so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just ate those, hung out, and then eventually Bruno drove us back home. Which was very nice of him, since technically he just had to walk across the street to go back home, so... But yeah, um, I think we're planning on hanging out with all of them for like a dinner with like all our friends. Not 100% sure though. No plans have been like officially made yet. And today, because I forgot to film this last night for you. Today our family comes over. So that should be fun. Or horrible. Who knows? Right now we're just eating breakfast because we just, well, Kimmy just woke up. I woke up two hours ago. Say hi, Kimmy. So last night our family came over, as I mentioned. Um, I took pictures with everyone that came. Uh, those will be at some point in this video. But it was so nice seeing everybody. And like, I mean, the food was so good. <laughs> we had like uh, breaded chicken, Caesar salad, uh, pasta. I didn't have any of that though. Kimmy, how was the pasta? It was really good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also, she's playing Sims, in case you hear that. It's very loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then our other aunt, our Aunt Debbie, brought over, um, pastries and stuff for dessert. Those were good. Um, I had a cup, a red velvet cupcake with, like, really sweet icing and red velvet chunks. What did you have again? 
Um, it was like chocolate cake, but it had like there was like three different chocolates on it. It was really good. So yeah, it was it was so much fun, and we had like coffee and everything also, and then. It was just so nice having everyone together and like hearing all the laughter and stuff because like our cousin Tyler was like, hey, so this is what you guys miss and then like a bunch of jokes were going around. Some good, some horrible dad jokes from our two uncles. <laughs> but it was so nice like you don't like if you live close to your family or even like relatively close and you meet up throughout the year for like Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff, you don't realize how much you miss it when you can't because we were never a family that like met up every weekend or whatever but for like christmas thanksgiving easter birthdays like we'd all get together we can't do that anymore obviously because they all live here in quebec and we live out in alberta so you don't really realize how much you miss it until you come back to it you know if that makes sense but yeah it made me realize like how much i actually do miss having family gatherings with them what about you it was kind of weird because, like, I'm not used to being around people that have the same blood. As, me. As I was saying, I'm not used to having people around me that have the same blood. So it was like I'm looking around to, like, parts of me, you know? And, like, it, it was like I was living the life that I was supposed to live growing up, but I never got the chance. Yeah, because when she moved, uh, I was 10. I was like six. Yeah, so she was six, all, turning seven, because I was turning ten. And my our, our other sister, Carolyn, was only two. She doesn't even remember everybody, because she was she was a baby. Like, she doesn't remember. Um, Kimmy does, because she did come out to visit um, a few years ago, like five or six. It's nice, and if you have family and you're close to them, and you have that, like, cherish it, please. <laughs> Because you don't know how, like, actually lucky you are, I don't think. But yeah, it was so nice seeing everybody. And one thing that actually surprised me was everybody called me Kyle. Nobody called me my birth name. And it was so nice. And they all used, uh, he, him pronouns. Except, like, there were a few slip-ups with the pronouns, but nothing, like, major. Um, but it was so nice. Especially because last time they saw me, I was a 13-year-old girl. Like... Lots has changed. <laughs> uh, the only thing that would have made it better, obviously, if it's my mom and uh, Carolyn had been here. That would have been nice. But at least now I have pictures of everyone to show her, so she has faces to book to names. Uh, today, I don't think we're doing anything because it's football. So today is just like a relaxed day. Tomorrow, we're going to downtown Montreal, though, meet up with our aunt for lunch and then shop. So I'll definitely bring the camera to, like, show that. And what are we doing? I think Tuesday we're driving up to um, our, our cottage my grandparents own. So I'll also bring the camera for that because uh, it's really nice. We spent most of our summers there as kids. Uh, obviously it looks different because it's winter. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all. So today we are going to downtown Montreal with my uncle. Uh, we're meeting up with my aunt for lunch, and then we're going, can't remember what the name is, but it's like the underground mall in Montreal. And, um, I'll actually show you guys clips of that. that that's what we're doing today, so enjoy. <laughs>
He can safely walk down the stairs now. Yep. <laughs> uh, better than it ever used to be, Kimmy. No, oh. <laughs> yeah, because those are the old stairs. Yeah. Yeah, we still haven't chiseled out your coins that you want. So we made it to our cottage that we used to spend like every summer at. Um, it's kind of dark in here because the power's off because no one lives here in winter, but I'll do my best to kind of like show you around. So front entrance, dining room table, little desk. Got couches that are your typical grandparent couches. We have Kimmy. Uh, this used to be where a fireplace was, I'm pretty sure. Now it's over here. Got the wood. Nice little... Yep. Uh, they recently had to take all that down because there was mold and stuff. Uh, this was always my grandparents' room. I can't really show you much because it's really dark in there. What's in here? Well, no squirrel jumped out, so that's good. Around here we have our kitchen. We had to boil water for warm water, that I remember. This was an extra room that used to have a TV in it. This is the bathroom. Nice and nice and small. This shower used to be smaller. When we were kids, we had to put like a small bathtub in the tub to have a bath. And this room, which is completely black, that room used to be our room when we were kids. That's where we'd stay. But now it looks like it's more of a storage area. This is the creek my sister and I used to try and catch tadpoles in. Goes all the way up there. We used to walk all the way up there on all the rocks and stuff. Um, I might try after. That's the shed. That's the boat that always breaks. That's another boat. We have my grandma's little rocking thing. Um, that's the lake. It's Green Lake, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that island over there, those people used to have deer from what I remember. But yeah, this is, this is where we spent our summers. Uh, it was always creepy, because... Oh, can I walk on this? I can. Because in here, you used to see the little water spiders making the little, like, things. It's also raining. That's why there's so many droplets. Wheelbarrow. That is the neighbor's thing with their wharf over there. We used to feed ducks off of there. Yeah. Um, there's some, like, really old wrecked treehouse in this bunch of trees that my uncles had when they were little. But that's, yeah, that's, this is where we used to spend our childhood. There used to be a thing right there. I can't remember what it's called. Like, a bench. A bench. Sleep till I
to our flight, so yay. We found a charging thing for our phones, though. <laughs> so that's fun. And our gate's right next to a Tim Hortons flight. There's the Tim Hortons. That's our gate right there. So that's pretty cool. That's really all. We're just gonna sit here, eat and drink until it's time to go. See you. See you.